Then Luke, nothing can get better than a top five matchup in the state. Yeah, it helps when they are rivals in the region as well. Dickens and Trinity on a roll offensively, averaging 48 plus points per game. Shiloh on a roll defensively, giving up just five points per game. So something has to give. Winner has the inside track to a home playoff game. 7-7 seven, seven Titans in the second. Pass over the middle, and there is Luke Shelby with the interception, and he would take it to the house. A 14-7 Trinity lead. After a Skyhawks touchdown, Shiloh bounces back in a big way. Joey Desir with the keeper into the end zone, 20-14 to 14 at that point. Fast forward to 28 all in the fourth quarter. Swing pass out to Michael Foggerlin. He's going to cut inside, and he is gone, giving Shiloh the lead with eight minutes to go. Now four minutes left in the game. Jace Kovash rolling to his left, decides to keep it, and he definitely had his Wheaties as he runs over everyone into the end zone. Trinity wins a shootout, 49-35. Linton HMB leading Northern Cass 18 to 6 in the Lions Den. Jags trying to put together a drive with time winding down in the first, but Riley Richter stops the momentum with a big hit for a loss. So we go to the third quarter. Defense showing up again for the Lions. Trace King, the interception across the middle. He would return it all the way down to the 10 yard line and helps himself out from there. Punching it in on the QB sneak to extend the Lions lead. They roll on to win 38 to 6. So that's just a few games of the 11B side that we had down south. But let's go up north to Tristan and Dina, who have highlights from a surprise team making moves in the division. Yeah, Phil, that surprise team is Botno, who moved into the four spot of this week's 11B poll. But the Braves need to win on the road this week if they want to improve the record to 4 0 on the season. Botno taking the trip south to face Harvey Wells County, who's rocking the camo jerseys. This one, a track meet early on the first offensive play of the game. Ryder Pullman parachutes one down the left sideline to a wide open Khalil Abdurman. Botno goes up 8-0, but the Hornets sting back. On their first play from scrimmage, it's Talon Thorson with the dump off to Kale Sig. He makes a couple defenders miss. We sped him up, but he was flying regardless. Harvey misses the conversion, and it's 8-6. First quarter, just defense optional. It's on the third play from scrimmage, Jacob Shriver with a burst through the defense, and he is gone. Botano, a 46-20 winner. And number two, Velva Drake Animus Garrison also trying to stay perfect, hosting Ned Rose. We jump in on the second quarter where Velva's Peyton Bodine jukes his way into the secondary, and he wins the foot race to the end zone. Velva leads 22-7. Belva again knocking on the door. This time, Ben Shep will do it himself. Belva extends their lead 28 to 7. And Ned Rose will answer with three minutes left in the half when Josh Kalamaya finds Keaton Cole downfield and he takes care of the rest. But it would be all Velva in the second half, winning 50 to 14. South Prairie Royals hosting the Bishop Ryan Lions. Lions leading big 42 0 to start the second half. Royals on fourth down. Carter Courseline scrambles, but engulfed by a pride of Lions, turning it over on downs. And in the fourth quarter, South Prairie in the red zone, handoff to Colin Knorr, gets to the outside, finds the end zone. Royals on the board, but it's the Lions, a big winner, 42 to 6.